Erica throughout this show, but right now, as we mentioned, the power is still out for more than 300,000 people in Northeast Ohio, and that means some people are using generators, which is prompting, in turn, a lot of calls to firefighters about carbon monoxide. 19's Katie Tursik is going to join us live now in Willoughby Hills, where many are still in the dark. Katie, that tree behind you, that looks, it looks bad out there. Oh yeah, the damage is bad out here in Willoughby Hills, but the main concern are these down power lines. As you look over here, you're going to see this is in a residential neighborhood, but on the main roads, there's also down power lines over there, and officials warn, please be careful. They're afraid that these wires, when they do re-energize and the companies start everything back up, that they will be hot. So they say, please continue to stay away from these wires. This was a monster last night. Down trees, power lines, roads closed in Willoughby Hills. People cleaning up the mess yesterday's storm left behind as generators can be heard everywhere. Again, for everybody's safety, stay away from the power lines, stay away from down trees. If there's caution tape or any roads closed, don't pass those and, and stay away from all that. Take a look at this mother nature uprooting this massive pine tree. The branches now onto the roof of this home causing major damage. I'm just thankful that the tree didn't fall on the house. Hubert West counting his blessings this morning after a tree narrowly missed falling on top of his home and landed in his street white road, shutting it down and knocking out power in his neighborhood. Sound like an earthquake. It felt like an earthquake. And then all of a sudden there's a blinking and the power went out and I ran to the door and it was going over just just that quick. Meanwhile, Willoughby Hills firefighters are cautioning people to be careful if they're using a generator. We've had multiple calls already for carbon monoxide related issues. A lot of times they're placed very close to the homes and people think they have the safety and security of the backup generator. But unfortunately, that carbon monoxide is part of the exhaust and it's, it's going into the houses. And according to First Energy, about 53% of customers in Lake County do not have power right now. So the name of the game is just to really be patient. Who knows when that power will come back on? We can only hope it's today, if not tomorrow. In Willoughby Hills, Katie Tursek, 19 News. All right, Katie, thank you. Well, there was a transformer.